in Matamoros. All right, and it is now nine o'clock here on the West Coast, midnight on the East Coast. Uh, and the policy, the rule that was known as Title 42 is no longer. I'm Andrew Kraft. Thanks so much for being with us. I want to put up now this statement from DHS Secretary Mayorkas. We're just getting this in right now, and this is what he has to say now that this rule is no longer. He says, starting tonight, people who arrive at the border without using a lawful pathway will be presumed ineligible for asylum. We're ready to humanely process and remove people without a legal basis to remain in the United States. We have 24,000 Border Patrol agents and officers at the southwest border and have surged thousands of troops and contractors and over a thousand asylum officers to help enforce our laws. Do not believe the lies of smugglers. It goes on to say and ends that the border is not open. People who do not use available lawful pathways to enter the U.S now face tougher consequences, including a minimum five-year ban on re-entry and potential criminal prosecution. Together with our partners throughout the federal government and Western Hemisphere, we are prepared for this transition. Now we go, though, to some of these live pictures in Matamoros. And you can see clearly these individuals not heeding Secretary Mayorkas's warnings and taking the trek anyway. This is stunning video. You can see there they are crossing the Rio Grande with everything they own on them, hoisted above themselves so it doesn't get wet. Brownsville, Texas is on the opposite side. Okay, so let's take it now there from Matamoros uh, out to Yuma, Arizona. Uh, our reporter there, Stephanie Bennett, tweeting out this video saying that a very large group just crossed into Yuma County. They say that they knew Title 42 was ending and they want a better life in America. Here's uh, what they had to say, and we can see if this has audio here. I'm going to put this audio up here just to see. All right, that's okay there. Uh, you can see uh, we have been relying on Stephanie Bennett's reporting uh, throughout the last couple of days here, there uh, in the Yuma, Arizona sector. We also spoke with Madison Scarpino. She was there in Nogales, Arizona, across from Nogales, Mexico. So Arizona, of course, impacted by this. I wanna go back out though to Matamoros, Mexico. You can see there that these crossings are continuing. Very, very treacherous, very dangerous for those who attempt it. You can see very young people there as well, children hoisted on the backs of their parents. Look at that. As Title 42 has now expired. You can see the barbed wire there. You can also see some of the U.S. Army um, troops, uh, the National Guard members who are on the opposite side of that barbed wire. But still, these uh, illegal migrants making a go for it, trying to get a better life, like many of them are, but doing so now in the incorrect, illegal way. Let's listen. Bueno, es así como ustedes pueden. 
puedan apreciar al fondo de la imagen, eh, pues le, les ofrecemos muchísimas fronteras, eh, pues que ya han tocado tierra y sobre todo bueno, pues poco les ha importado la situación de esta universidad. La falta de visibilidad poco les importa, ya que bueno, pues se encuentran desesperados, comentan muchos migrantes, los cuales ven que la aplicación se sí, sí, pues no, no les funciona ni siquiera entran al primer paso. Y bueno, pues aquí no, vamos. Eh, mexicano, eh, mexicano, eh. Eh, bueno, ya regresa, no. regresa ¿Qué quieres? No, es mexicano. Hey, tengan cuidado con los niños. Va a estar muy resbaloso, muy peligroso por este lado. No les vamos a abrir. Van a tener que pasar. Bueno, ahí la instrucción de... Por un buen peligro. La guardia fronteriza, la cual, bueno, pues dice que es el eh, lugar peligroso y efectivamente así como está en este Lo mejor lado, sería que llegaran por puerta de entrada. Bueno, pues aquí va a ser muy eh, difícil. All right, this is Andrew Kraft here. Uh, we're almost about 10 minutes after the top of the hour there. Uh, as you can see, this group of illegal migrants not getting very far. Uh, they have crossed there uh, the body of water, but you can see uh, with the bullhorn there, some of these army troops telling them to go back. Uh, the barbed wire is up. I wanna put up two more shots that we have. Uh, you can see there the larger one in Matamoros, not much movement or activity in the upper right. That's the Ciudad Juarez, El Paso, Texas border sector. And then down at the lower right here uh, in San Isidro, California and the Tijuana, Mexico border sector as well. Still a lot of people mulling about, but we haven't seen anything like we've seen there, at least uh, mounted crossings like we just saw live from Matamoros, Mexico into Brownsville, Texas, albeit uh, seemingly unsuccessful there. Let's uh, play out some of the sound so you can listen in still there in Matamoros. All right, 10 after the top of the hour. This is Andrew Kraft here. Uh, thanks so much for being with us uh, as we continue to cover uh, this major, major moment in 
U.S. border policy and immigration news, the end of Title 42 has come and passed now, uh, and you can see there still uh, some of these illegal migrants not heeding the warnings of the federal government or DHS Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas. Uh, he put out a statement right as Title 42 expired. I want to put some of that up there. Let's uh, read this out for you. He says... Starting tonight, people who arrive at the border without using a lawful pathway will be presumed ineligible for asylum. We're ready to humanely process and remove people without a legal basis to remain in the United States. He says, we have 24,000 border patrol agents and officers at the southwest border and have surged thousands of troops and contractors and over a thousand asylum officers to help enforce our laws. Do not believe the lies of smugglers. The border is not open. He also says people who do not use available lawful pathways to enter the U.S. now face tougher consequences, including a minimum five-year ban on reentry and potential criminal prosecution. He says together with our partners throughout the federal government and Western Hemisphere, we're prepared for this transition. Back out live to the pictures we have from in and around the U.S.-Mexico border, and like I said, some of these individuals not heeding the warnings, still making a go at it, as Title 42 now has expired there. And so remember, live now look at the U.S. Capitol as well. There was some movement on Capitol Hill today about a solution, at least House Republicans thought so. They managed to get their bill passed, H.R. 2, Secure the Border Act. The vote was 218 to 213 along party lines. We'll see if it has any purchase or likelihood of passage in the Senate. Many uh, of those we've spoken to says it's somewhat dead on arrival there. Chad Pergram saying as much. He says the House hoped to pass this bill over the winter, but the GOP struggled to find consensus but they were able to pass the bill today to coincide with the end of Title 42. In the bill, explicitly, is the resumption of building the border wall. Back out live there to some of these scenes in Matamoros, in Tijuana, in Ciudad Juarez. And remember, throughout this, and you even heard from him today, Brandon Judd, he's the head of the Border Patrol Union. Well, the union is tweeting this I believe just mere minutes ago. They say the Biden administration is absolutely corrupt to its core. We're going to work on getting more reaction from lawmakers. They go on to say Title 42 is now over. Nobody except the cartel thugs is prepared for what's about to hit us back out live. Okay, so uh, it looks like, obviously, uh, it's nighttime there. Our shots are getting a little harder to see. I'm going to take this full here. But you can still see some of the 1,500 U.S. Army troops, National Guard members stationed behind the barbed wire there. That was put up in order to deter some of these illegal migrants from crossing. They crossed the Rio Grande anyway. Title 42 has now expired. I want to put up this from Fox 10 Phoenix reporter Stephanie Bennett saying Border Patrol has now shown up, but they'll need a bigger van. That was in the Yuma sector. So we have been seeing, especially in our Ciudad Juarez shot there, you can, you can make out some of the Border Patrol vehicles. And all throughout the day, we had been seeing Border Patrol vehicles, vans included, take away some of the migrants who made their way through the border wall, the border sector there. You can see live now, look, a lot of vehicles still on the ground there in El Paso. I want to put this tweet up as well. Bill Malugin, he has been following this so closely. Let's wait, actually, it looks like there's some movement with some of these border patrol officials in El Paso. Not sure if they're going to be making a statement. Let's listen.
Okay, it doesn't look like. Well, Bill Malugin, uh, who really is now an expert journalist uh, at this entire story, it's really all he does. I want to put up this tweet here from him. He says, Title 42 has officially expired, and it is no longer policy at the border for the first time in over three years. I'm at the edge of the river in Brownsville, at the major crossing area right now, and so far no rush of migrants, just campfires from migrant camps across the river. But that is the scene we are seeing near Brownsville. I'm going to ask when that tweet was posted. From Bill Malugin, do we have when that tweet was posted? Yes, right after 9 o'clock at night. All right, just uh, mere minutes ago. Yeah. So obviously this is a very, very long stretch of the border along the Rio Grande. Bill Malugin not seeing an influx. We're seeing there near the same vicinity pockets, groups. You can see this. This is just stunning. And that is how they do it. They put their very, very young children on their shoulders, the water going up to their shoulders as they make the crossing. Let's listen. Okay, so uh, you could just hear the cries of these infants and toddlers there uh, in the arms of their parents and loved ones making uh, a crossing there through the river. You can hear those uh, shouts through those bullhorns there in Spanish that the river is strong. You heard fuerte. And you can see them still climbing, yet uh, not getting much much farther because of that barbed wire there. All right, uh, in the meantime, let's take a quick commercial break. I'm Andrew Kraft. We want to thank you for being with us in some of our extended coverage today. As we have covered this story from all angles in the run-up today, it's now almost 20 minutes past the top of the hour. Title 42 is no more, and you're seeing pockets of some of this illegal migration stream across border sectors there near uh, the U.S.-Mexico line. And take a look at that. Still, just stunning footage.